Hello there, friends, or should I say strangers? It's been... It's been a minute. I'm back, you know what that means. It's that special time of year. It's that special season where Dylan disappears for a month or two. This time I think it was three, with absolutely no warning, and then just shows up again. Mm, what you say? I like to compare it to when Beyonce was getting ready to release her self-entitled album, Beyonce. Beyonce? But the wait was worth it, and she presented us with a movie, basically a visual album. I ain't got that shit for you today. So while I prefer that comparison, it's more like Amanda Bynes, how she was gone forever. And when she showed back up, she was telling Drake to destroy her vagina on Twitter. It's more like that. But now that I've addressed the, um, ghostly white elephant in the room, I look like a ghost. I feel like I'm getting whiter and whiter by the day. Since we have that out of the way, how have you guys been? Good, I hope. Can I be honest with you guys? I've been great. In all my free time while I've been MIA from the internet, I've just been doing whatever I want and it's been nice. And what I have wanted to do has really just consisted of playing Pokemon and watching other people play Pokemon on the internet while I play Pokemon. <laughs> That may sound um, a certain way to some people, but like even right now, I wanna stop this and just play some more Pokemon. <laughs> but other than entertaining myself by playing Pokemon, I've also been taking really good care of myself. I don't know what happened really, but I turned 25 in these months that I've been gone. I know you guys are like 14, settle down. You probably thought I was like, actually, I don't know how old you thought I was. I don't even know how old I look. I think I might look 25. I think I look my age, but I don't know. Roast me in the comments. How old do I look? <laughs> I've always taken pretty good care of myself in terms of like health, what I put in my body, food. But these past few months, I've been paying even more attention to what I eat, just being super healthy and also working out like all the time. Bitch, I'm a fitness queen. But most impressive in my opinion, I've been flossing every day. Do you guys floss every day? Cause I didn't used to. I feel like it might be very normal for the average person to floss every day, but it was never like engraved in me. Dylan, floss. I never saw anyone flossing in my household growing up. I don't even think there was floss to use. I've always brushed my teeth every day, twice a day, morning and night. But your boy's been flossing now. And let me tell you something, I was bleeding for a good two weeks. That's why I remember. That's why I would only ever floss like three, four times a month. Like it was not a normal occurrence for me because I always fucking bled. But as someone who's a professional flosser at this point, let me tell you something. You just keep flossing those pearly whites every day for like two weeks, three weeks or something. The blood will stop. The blood will cease. I'm not gonna judge you if you don't floss, but I will just tell you that I think disgustingly of me three months ago. Like him, trash. Me now, recyclables. Overall, I've just been treating myself right and just outright ignoring my professional desired, let's be honest, desired professional life. Because YouTube, as much as I wish this weren't the case, YouTube has never been a profession for me. It's always been a hobby that I would make a little bit of money from. It's never been enough to sustain much of anything, especially since the majority of my videos are reaction videos. I mean, I'm lucky if I get to monetize any reaction video, to be honest. Some of you guys expressed disappointment when I started to edit my reaction videos and cut them up, but I have to. It would be easier for me to not do that and the video would get up much sooner. It takes forever to edit a video like that and make it seem seamless. I think I'm pretty good at it, but if I want even a chance of being able to monetize the video, I have to do that. And as an adult who has to like pay to live, I just can't justify the amount of time it takes to make a video if I'm not going to see any monetary return. Is that a word? Monetary return? Return monetarily? Monetize. If I don't have the chance to monetize, I gotta try and trick the system to make some coins. So I'm sorry, but my hands are kinda tied. On a side note, a lot has happened in the world since I went into hibernation. The Sonic the Hedgehog movie came out and apparently was, was good. I personally would not know because I have not seen it because it's a children's movie and I would feel awkward seeing it alone um, and I have no friends to see it with. That's, that's another thing. I would love to be someone who's active on Instagram and posts, you know, things that they do. But here's the thing, bitch. I don't really do anything. I eat, I sleep, I work, and I play Pokemon. Like that's all I do. But I used to have friends who would like take pictures of me faking, you know, 
things I was doing. Fake, fake, fake fun. But my point is, my friends are gone. They left me. They left the country. They left the state. They didn't leave the country, but it feels like they left the country. And as I said before, I'm too busy playing Pokemon. I don't have time to go search and find new friends. I don't got time, especially because it might not even pay off. I'm going to go hang out with you, and I don't even know if I like you yet. But I'd rather play Pokemon. And when Animal Crossing comes out, but bitch, it's over. Any chance of you getting to know me, it's over. I'll be too busy talking to animals. And I feel the same way about dating. I love the idea of having someone around to kiss, but my time is too precious to like sample everybody. I don't got time for that. Although dating somebody would solve the movie problem. We, I could have went and seen Sonic with them. It also would solve the Instagram problem. We could take fake fun pictures together. We might even have real fun. Maybe I should rethink this. Maybe a year after Animal Crossing comes out, maybe I'll consider dating somebody. But until then, I just I just don't see it for me. So, girls and gays, in conclusion, your your boy's trash. But that brings us to the point of this video. Yeah, I've been rambling for like 20 minutes. You're probably like, Dylan, what what are you trying to say, bitch? All that rambling brought us to this moment where I can confidently tell you we're done with that. We're done being trash. We're at least going to be, as I said earlier, recyclables, okay? Eco-friendly. 2020. Starting tomorrow, I will be posting a YouTube video every day. That's right, y'all. Every day with a caveat, with a um, star sign, asterisk. Terms and conditions include every weekday, Monday through Friday, because a girl's got to rest. A girl needs her beauty sleep. And they'll mainly be reaction videos because I've been gone so long, I have a lot to catch up on. I've got a lot that I've missed, bitch. Just off the top of my head, I missed Red Velvet. I missed Taeyeon. What the Hell. BTS, Dreamcatcher, Luna. The list, I'm sure, is endless. Still no Blackpink, but I guess that was to be expected at this point. YG? Can you, like, set them free? They would have had, like, three albums out by now if it wasn't for... I'm, I'm pissed. This is where I need your help. I already have a lot of videos already done, which is the only reason I feel confident saying there will be a new video every day in March, because I wouldn't trust myself if those videos weren't already done. <laughs> Ew. Corona? Wash your hands, guys. Wash your uh, filthy paws. But there's a lot of days in March, so I need your input. It can be a reaction video to a certain music video I have not seen yet. It can be a top 10 list of some kind. It can be a challenge video. I don't care. Anything you want to see me do on camera, please post it in the comments. I'll most likely do it. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope it was entertaining. It was just me talking. I hope it wasn't too boring. It was literally just me rambling and then telling you what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed. And um, if you did, I was going to say subscribe, but if you're watching this video, you're already subscribed. If you're a new person seeing this video first, that's awkward. You already know I'm trash and it's your first video. I'm literally apologizing in my first video you've seen of me. I kind of just fell asleep for a second. Anyway, new videos every weekday starting tomorrow. Okay, thank you for watching. Goodbye, bitch. I'm assuming if you're still here, then you're like here for me, um, which, wow, to you guys, I'm so sorry. If you want a lot of content today, then um, on Patreon today, I'm posting like a week's worth of reaction videos uncut like five at least that's well that's a, a week in terms of weekdays so that makes sense yeah i think there's gonna be five brand new videos posted today that'll trickle out here on youtube um monday through friday but if you if you want to be the first to see them then that's where they'll be that's where they'll always be posted first but today in particular there will be like five new videos up in a day so if you want to binge have fun <laughs> And secondly, if you're still here after all of that, after that freaking advertisement, um, then you've probably been with me for a while and um, you're a hardcore so on. Well, if you didn't know, I just wanted to let you know, wanted to make everyone aware, their music is now on Spotify in the United States. Like their entire Korean discography is up. I've been having a ball. I've been listening to Girls' Generation every day again and it feels really Good. So if you didn't know that and you're a Spotify user, it's probably the same for Apple Music too. I don't know for sure, but definitely Spotify. Um, log in and, and have, a, have some fun, right? Bye. Hi, boys! <laughs> Wait, okay. I'm 
on my way to Tiffany from Milwaukee. They're on to Tiffany. They're on to Tiffany. They're on to Tiffany. I'm tired. On my way. Well, actually, I'm not driving. Hello! <laughs> she lost her voice at Denny's, wasn't even yelling. Um, but yeah, she goes on at like 7.30, which in real life we all know means about 9.50. So we'll be waiting for that, and then I'm sure it's going to be great. 